set in I'm five way, with I'm J.A. A very cool condom filler that makes it taste like vanilla, Joel Gertner. So you managed the Dudleys to eight tag team championships, if I'm I not mistaken. I managed them to six of their eight. Six of their eight tag team champions. That's pretty astonishing. When I think about something like that, I think about like a guy like Captain Lou Albano who had like 22 uh, tag team championship runs. If you could manage the Dudleys against any tag team ever, who would it be? Wow. If I could manage the Dudleys against any tag team ever, I would manage them against a team that I loved, that I think they are the least like, but that had a manager that I would be able to go back and forth with. So believe it or not, my first pick that comes to mind would be the Dudleys against the Bobby Eaton and Stan Lane iteration of the Midnight Express. Wow, that would be an absolutely tremendous tag team match. Um, so your promos are, I mean, top tier, well thought out, well executed. Um, there must have been some great inspiration behind all this stuff. Andrew Dice Clay? Andrew Dice Clay? Uh, Howard Stern, The Jerky Boys, Truly Tasteless Jokes, um, stuff like that for sure. Uh, talk Radio, Morton Downey Jr., all kinds of different stuff like that. And other um, wrestling managers that I loved and admired, with the exception of just throwing the sex in and being kind of horny and oversexed. So in addition to the Dice Clay and the Stern and the Dr. Dirty and all of that, you're also throwing in Paul Heyman, Jim Cornette, Lou Albano, Bobby Heenan, guys like that. That's awesome. Um, you can hold the mic, you're doing a great job. Um, People know you as an incredible manager and promo cutter, but I loved you as a commentator. How did you like commentating? I thought it was fun and it was different. It was post-produced, so we were being sometimes told by Paul at given moments what he wanted us to say, uh, which is fine by me. You know, I'm there to do a job, and uh, you know whether you're you know making the pizza completely homemade or whether certain ingredients come kind of prefab and you're making a good pizza. That you know what I mean? It doesn't yeah. matter to me. I, you know, I mean, well, well, well was a Paul Heyman line. Um, quintessential stud muffin. Was was his homage because he had managed Austin Idol earlier in his career, the Universal Heartthrob. So he decided I would be the quintessential stud muffin. So um, he came up with some of those, and then the actual rhymes themselves, the Gertnerisms. I came up with those. And last but not least, you're giving stocks tips, you're giving sports predictions. It's a football weekend. Give us the Gartner lock of the week. Too early. I haven't looked. I had a four-leg parlay last night or uh, Thursday night um, in the Vikings-Eagles game. I had a four-legger, and I hit on Devonta Smith. And I hit on um, the over for Cousins, and I hit on oh, the yeah. under for Hertz. I hit on three out of the four legs. The only thing I needed was a Justin Jefferson touchdown. Who led with receptions? Justin Jefferson. Who had the most wreck yards? Justin Jefferson. And out of four Vikings touchdowns, who had none of it in the end zone? Justin Jefferson. So I was one Justin Jefferson touchdown shy of turning $20 into $350. And I'm still licking my wounds from, the, from that, so I haven't looked at any of those for Sunday yet. So real quick though, who did Justin Jefferson have covering him? Big play, <laughs> Darius Slay. There you go. Joel Gertner, you thank go. you for getting I'm, five by the way, with I'm, J.A. Very cool. Yeah, and, and thrilled that the Eagles won the game, by the way. Just would have loved, because they were up 14 when I needed that last touchdown anyway. Just would have really loved J.J. to come in. But, yeah, man, dude, love you. Love the Eagles. Love Philly. Please have me at your store whenever you want. Oh, I'm available coming. for you. Absolutely. And thank you so much for all the kind words. Definitely. Peace and love.